So what did you make of the, of the second half? What were the adjustments going into the second half? Clearly, you, you started well and um, Well, we, we changed formations a little bit. We brought the midfield into a diamond shape, pushed Jordy up. Uh, that was the tactical change. Um, we had discussed that actually prior to the game. Once we saw Bruce come out with, you know, five-man back line, how did we line up with, you know, one forward against three center back, you know, all that sort of stuff. Um, so that was the adjustment there. Nico. Uh, were you surprised by the lineup that Bruce uh, put out there? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, he's got a good team, so, you know, surprised that he played a little, well, defensively. I can't call it defensively because he scored three goals, but, you know, surprised there a little bit, yeah. yeah. Coach, does a game like this feel bittersweet knowing that you got the, you know, you got the fast start and then you come back to take the lead and then you end up with a three three draw? This is the worst possible feeling that you can have. Oh, I would almost argue after, okay, if you get outplayed or something and you lose, it, it sucks. I get it. But to come back and go ahead and come back 3-2 and then give up a penalty, miss some chances, miss some sitters. I mean, it's not it's not easy to deal with at all. Those guys in there are gutted. They're 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 gutted. They they put a lot into the game, so you know, I, I feel for them. Jada. You mentioned the penalty. What could have been done, I guess, in that situation to avoid that? The last penalty. Their penalty. The handle actually. Yeah, against Jordy Delem. Well, the ball, when you're winning 3-2 or when you're winning late in games, you don't want any balls to go in behind. And so, you know, we'll have to look at the tape to figure out how that ball goes in over our back line. And then Jordy is out there and he's, you know, doing a good job. Jordy's a good defender. And it's one of those things that, that you know, back in the day, somebody might have said ball to hand because Jordy is just defending and the ball hits him but nowadays those are called penalties so it's you know it's unfortunate that we couldn't finish them off on the other end prior to that play because we had we had chances to put that game away so coach uh, in the penalty play uh, do you think that that was a handball or is due to the new rule that a, a handball is a handball and it has to be, it has to be called by the referee. I don't, I don't comment on the refereeing, um, so I'll just avoid that question. It, it happened. We have to move past it. Um, that's, that's, you know, I don't comment on the refereeing. Yeah. Giving up three goals after maybe emphasizing defense throughout the week, did the goals seem symptomatic of goals you've given up? in the last few games are different? Well, they all feel the same because we weren't pleased with them. Um, you know, you got to stay with runners in the box. You, you know, some of the basic stuff that we discussed, you know, talking about our transitions, how we defend and all that sort of stuff. We will continue because obviously, you know, I have to take some responsibility for it. It didn't, we didn't, work enough, we didn't give them the tools to be successful. So we'll continue to work on that till we clean that up because you cannot win games in this league unless you defend a little bit better than what we showed. Follow-ups? I'll make you first time. Yeah. Uh, what's your general level of concern about the defending, especially you've got three now road games um, coming up and you know there's teams coming um, chasing you uh, from below? It's, it's high alert. I, I have always said that defense wins championships. I know that's an old coach's saying, but I, I believe that. You have to be strong defensively. You obviously have to have good attacking players. Again, I'll meet with the science staff. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be a you know, large amount of chances created. We had a bunch of balls inside the box and posts and whatever. I'm sure our you know, expected goals might be pretty high, but... You know that 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 doesn't help us tonight, and it's not going to help us in the in the push to get into the playoffs. Yeah, Mark. 
Do you see any pluses in this game from your team that maybe you didn't see in the previous two home games? Well, look, I, I, I sound like a broken record, um, but the, the, that team never gives up. You know, they always are able to find ways to, you know, even, you know, I think last time we played this team, the Revolution, I think we were down 3 nothing, And we came back 3-3. Last time at home. Last time at home. So I, I always give kudos to the team, credit to the team that, you know, that, that they never quit. And that's a, that's a good quality to have. So if you follow up to start with Felipe. So, Coach, uh, I can see that you are uh, very upset or frustrated. You have sentiments on you. What is it that makes you feel like that in the game? Well, nobody likes to lose. Um, you know, that's, that's one of my sayings. I don't like to lose, and this feels like a loss. You know, the players in there work too hard. The fans work at their jobs, pay money to come into the building and, and watch this team be successful. So for those people out there, the fans, and for that team in that locker room, I want to make sure that we do as much as we can to help them be successful. Jeremiah. So you, you talked about getting better starts. You started well, but then it, it seemed to fade after about 15 or 20 minutes. What, did you notice any changes? Did you notice any, anything that was going on out there, or was it just uh, kind of the way things go? That is actually a great question, Jeremiah, because I asked the same of my of the team at halftime. When we went out to our fast start, what did we do to then control tempo, continue to attack, get the second goal, continue to play like we did the first 10 minutes of the game? I felt a couple of guys got a little tentative. I thought our you know, our, our active defending was good. We'd win possession of the ball. They were a little slow to push out. And then we'd almost wait for them and then play the ball back to Steph and allow them to press us higher up the field instead of collecting the ball, playing a ball this direction and putting them under more pressure. So again, I'll, I'll, I'll watch the tape, but the feeling I got was, you know, we didn't keep our foot on the gas. Chip gets a brace today. Have you noticed any change in his game to make him more goal dangerous or just? Sure, Harry's a smart player. He gets himself in the right place at the right time. And, you know, he's been a valuable member to the club. So we're always happy. It's always an added bonus when you can get, you know, goals from your wide players or your wingers or your midfielders. That's always a plus. Maybe. Uh, what was your uh, decision to uh, behind uh, bringing Alex Rodan in as opposed to say Victor Rodriguez? Is because you were ahead at the time? It's because we were ahead at the time, and you know we need to just make sure that he's fully 100% fit, and make sure that we don't, you know, put him at injury risk. We've got a couple more games coming up this week. I thought we could close the game out. Jeremiah, yeah, just to follow up on on Harry. That's I want to say the last three goals, maybe even more than that, have all come off these kind of backside plays where he's kind of drifting into space. Is that something that you would hope that other players who are in that position can maybe kind of pick up, or is that something that's innate about Harry? No, I think we always mention it. When Jordan plays out wide, either the right or the left, his job, the job of that particular midfielder in a 4-2-3-1 is when we do get the ball into the prime assist zones on the opposite side of the field, they must be inside the penalty box. Anything else, guys? Jada, sure. Yeah. Um, with the defense, is any part of that just kind of consistency playing together too? As far as the well, that was, a, that was the same group that started last week and you know, there's obviously, again, a little bit of a learning curve between Kim and Javi, but again, Jada, we're not going to use that as an excuse. I mean, that, that, that we, need, we just need to be better there.